Let's take the detector into the field and discuss the basics of using it. First, turn on the detector by turning the automatic ground track knob to the lock position. Hear the four beeps? Whenever you turn on the Infinium, its batteries are checked automatically and their condition reported to you. Four beeps indicate that batteries are fully charged. If you should ever hear just one beep, that indicates the batteries need to be changed within an hour or two. There are two additional dials to adjust. We'll set the threshold, the background sound made by your detector while you're hunting. Adjust the threshold to a level that suits your individual requirements. Charles Garrett always recommends that you hunt with the sound level set just above silent. To achieve maximum depth, it is recommended that you leave discrimination at zero or set it at a low level until you are familiar with the conditions of your search area and the types of trash metal items that you want to eliminate from detection. Zero discrimination enables you to locate all metallic objects, even those that would be overlooked by conventional detectors in a harsh environment. There's more on discrimination in the owner's manual that accompanied your Infinium LS. Of course, you'll want to read the manual completely and carefully before going into the field. Because it's pocket-sized, you can take it with you easily for handy reference. I know that you're anxious to begin hunting with the Infinium to witness its amazing performance in harsh treasure hunting environments. But one important step remains before you begin searching. Because the Infinium is so ultra-sensitive, you are likely to encounter more electrical interference than you would experience with a conventional detector, especially in an urban environment. You must recognize the necessity of listening closely for electrical interference and then eliminating it before you begin detecting. Correcting this presents no problem for the Infinium. Hold the search coil motionless and listen. If you're hunting anywhere near power lines, electrical devices, or other detectors, electrical interference such as this will cause your detector to become unstable and result in confusing audio signals. You can easily adjust the operating frequency to reduce this interference. Here's how. Make certain the automatic ground track dial is set in the lock position. Then, turn the threshold dial beyond maximum to frequency adjust, and you'll notice that the audio threshold increases before dropping back to a lower level. The detector is now in a frequency adjust mode and can be adjusted by slowly turning the discrimination knob. Because the Infinium offers 32 different operating frequencies, you'll want to turn the dial in very small steps. Pause after each adjustment until you obtain a frequency that minimizes any interference. Now, first return the threshold knob and then the discrimination knob to their normal positions. And the detector will remain locked at that frequency until you turn it off. When you turn it back on, it will return to the factory preset frequency. You can and should make such adjustments whenever electrical interference is suspected. Remember, hold your search coil completely motionless while making this adjustment to ensure that you're not hearing target signals. Any noise you may now be hearing comes from electrical or atmospheric interference.